In today's video, we're going to be turning this into this. Let's do this. Okay, so for many of you who are wondering, what is this? This is in fact... I'm, I'm using the word this quite a lot, I just realised. But if you're wondering what this is, is in fact a scoreboard version of the last thing. So we've still got the same thing going on. Once it is wiped, the winning team then clicks if you're blue team. Uh, you obviously decide which team your player and you are. Uh, if you're blue team, you then click the blue team and you're a winner. Uh, and if you're a red team, you click the red team and then you get a point. Now the first of three, so if we click this three times, your light actually turns on. As you can see, the other one is red. And if you click that, another two, that one uh, turns red, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that in today's video. Okay, guys, so basically this is a symmetrical build and it works exactly the same on both sides so I'll do the most complicated side now you're probably wondering why is this the most complicated side Jake because the button is here and it's not on the other side so you want to go free out and you just want to make sure it looks like this obviously put the button in two for your team players so red and blue you then want to put torches on the free that you've gone sideways and then you want to do this all the way back to about there so this is what it's gonna this is what it's going to look like so you want to go like this okay you want to go like this then you want to go back to place a block on each part then you want to go and place some redstone torches here so this turns these off because when this is this is on this torch is on there's no power going into it so basically these repeaters allow them to go off then we put more repeaters behind here and then you want to do more repeaters again make sure you leave a space block and then you want to put some redstone torches now this is how it's going to work sand slides through here every time that button is pushed and now this allows for the power to travel through the one space block power in this right here turning this torch off allowing this one to come on now, if I was just to power one of them, so this is how it works, the redstone comes in here. So that powers through here, allowing this one to come on, turning this torch off, turning this off, and then allowing this to become active again. And that is how the team is scored with one point. It is really that simple. So if you want to quickly pause the video here and copy that layout go for it right now so once you have done that you're going to want to come to here and you want to go out to you want to place a piston just a normal piston not a sticky piston otherwise it will not work then this is just so you know which team you are you want to get some red uh, blue wool and you want to make like a stairs pattern like this okay so the redstone is going to need to come out somewhat like this so the redstone comes along from here. Make sure you use a repeater, guys, because of these torches will affect it otherwise later on. So you want to make sure you've got a two wide across. And then you want to go down, down, and then a repeater here, a repeater there, and um, redstone all the way around. Then you want to get uh, wood and do this all the way across because otherwise these signals will interfere with this. You then want to get some sand. So just quickly put sand. Or any block that uh, falls, so any block with no gravity except from an anvil because obviously that is not a full block. Okay, so you're probably wondering why we need obsidian. Okay, so this stops the sand from going any further than the free because obviously pistons cannot push obsidian. Then you want to grab this signal with a blue wool of your choice and you want to bring it all the way around to the back. Now this is probably where the part gets quite confusing. Now you're going to need redstone, uh, some repeaters, and we're also going to need a beacon, iron, a 
piston piston um, and red and blue so you want to go like this and you want to put redstone all the way around to here now the signal is going to get weak so uh, I know redstone can travel 15 blocks before it gets weak but then you're going to want to get uh, one of these uh, you're going to need a sticky piston guys I forgot about that, you're going to need a sticky piston you're going to place the sticky piston down now this is the blue side so you want to place the blue, flat, uh, the blue glass there you want to place the beacon here and you just want to put this on the floor for the beacon to be allowed to be on so the beacon is now on so when the this this has got to be symmetrically copied to the other side as well so once that is done guys every time a player presses a button the sand will move to the third one and once it gets to the third one it allows the signal to come through here allowing this one so the signal travels through the block obviously turning this off allowing for the light to come on and also it pushes signal through here allowing for the piston to push forward and allow a light but guys once you have symmetrically copied that on each side your build will look like this now this is um exactly symmetrical it is exactly the same on each side so if you want to quickly take a little look at this too but this is the other version this is the complete version so i showed you how to do one side to be pointing at showing you how to do two sides when they're both exactly the same but um that is everything for today's video guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up also guys subscribe if you enjoy my content there will be more gta and black ops 3 videos and also my minecraft series to come this week but until then problem just fucking out but you let it go uh. Uh, look, see I remember when I met you as a sophomore Started out as friends, but I knew that we would want more Hit your favorite restaurant, with your favorite dress on That's one of my favorite